Hello, and welcome back to part two of the Beginner's Meditation series. If you missed part one, go to the episode before and listen to that before listening to this one today. Let's begin where we left off. Let's begin with closing your eyes and getting into a comfortable position. The first meditation was all about finding a comfortable position for you to meditate and bringing your focus on your breathing, filling up your belly, then your ribs and chest with air and exhaling it from your chest, your ribs, and then your belly. Really bringing your focus to your abdomen area and feeling the sensation of rising and falling as you inhale and exhale. Now, many people believe that meditation means emptying your mind completely, where you should not be having any thoughts, but that's not the case. You see, the beauty of meditation is that you allow yourself to observe the thoughts that come in. And this is where change can occur. So as you bring your focus on your breathing, you may ex- experience a moment, a sensation that snaps you out of your focus. This may be hearing a car slam shut, hearing the door close, smelling dinner being cooked, feeling your leg go numb, seeing a random image pop in your mind of a deer in a forest. Whichever senses get called on, I want you to label it. Label it as listening, feeling, seeing, or smelling. And by labeling it, based on the sensation that it is, you are acknowledging it and becoming aware of it. You are observing it just for what it is in that moment. Without allowing yourself to go too deep into thought about it. You aren't thinking, oh, I hear a door. I wonder who that was. Where are they going? I hope they remember to lock the door and bring the grocery list with them. Maybe I should just get up and go check. This is not observing. This is actively thinking. So instead, just label it for what it is and continue to help your thoughts not wander mindlessly. And when you do this, you'll notice the thought or sensation will pass. And when that happens, you can bring your focus back to your breath. Oh, and then you suddenly smell dinner being cooked. But this time, you observe it and you label it smelling. Smelling, smelling. Or whatever makes sense to you. Then you continue and let it go and bring your focus back on your breath. But what happens when a thought comes into your mind? Maybe you're thinking about what happened today with a coworker, maybe something that happened in the past, like a memory, or maybe your mind is wandering into the future, wondering what are you going to make for dinner? Will you have time to see your best friend this weekend? Or maybe you're just in this imaginary place where you feel you're on a luxury vacation that you won in the lottery. Just as you did before with the sensations, become aware of it and label it. Let's say suddenly you think of something you did that made you angry because you made a mistake. Instead of diving deeper into this feeling of anger and making your meditation focus on your negative energy, label it instead. You can say remembering, remembering. We do not judge the thoughts that are coming into your mind because it's just a thought. We don't label the thought as good or bad or try to make sense of it too much. We just observe and stay detached 
and after a few moments, that thought will pass. Sometimes thoughts that pop up are here to serve us. A lesson we learned, a memory that explains why we think a certain way. And by bringing a non-judging awareness to it is where we can make a change after our meditation. And once that thought passes, bring your focus back to your breath. If the thought is something about the future, you can label it something like labeling, planning. Or if it's a daydream, label it imagining. This allows the thoughts to come in and out and to bring your attention and focus on the breath and the now, the present moment. Because the only thing we have is this present moment, the now. And when you focus on the breath, you allow your mind to be calm and still, allowing it to rest. Now that you've learned how to get comfortable, to focus on your breathing, how to handle sensations and thoughts as they come in during your meditations, the third part and final question is what happens when your arm or leg goes numb? Do you feel an itch on your back or your nose? Do you get up and move or do you stay in place? This will be discussed in the next meditation series, as well as learning how to apply the mindful techniques in our day-to-day lives and activities. But for now, thank yourself for showing up for today and stay tuned and I will see you in the next meditation series.